Now, speaking about the science around rote repetition versus these kinds of elaborative encoding through association and exaggeration techniques, what was I going to talk about next? Oh, that's right. Reading so you can retain facts and information. We've got some beautiful tactics around that, don't we, Dr. Forget? One of the things I used to struggle with so bad was coming across charts and diagrams, and it just used to boggle my mind. I'm not really a visual person, and I used to find them really, really overwhelming. But a little trick that I discovered was something I learned from Tony Buzan. See, Tony has this thing called the most important graph in the world that he used to teach. And because it truly is so important, the way he would get you to remember it was to have you draw it in your own hand. And I remember it to this day, even though I only ever drew it once. So putting two and two together, what I started to do when I came across these charts and diagrams that used to overwhelm me visually is I just started drawing them in my own hand. And in the drawing process, I would start to analyze what it was that I was putting together and that would reduce the overwhelm. And as a result, I no longer have to do it nearly as much in order to figure out what was going on. So if you understand them at a glance and that's good for you, I mean, congratulations. But if you're struggling with that, like I used to, that's a wonderful and powerful way to help you with the comprehension of them. And then you can use the same techniques in terms of using mnemonic images to help you remember them. And for that, you might have a lot of numbers going on. So I would highly recommend that you learn a number in coding system to help you out. And I've talked about those on the channel before, but one thing you might want to do is get into the Magnetic Mary Method Masterclass so that you can learn the number systems that I teach there that help you rapidly absorb any number, any symbol in your mind so that you can lay them out in memory palaces and then use the memory palaces to get those numbers and symbols and formulas into long-term memory as quickly as possible. Back when I was in graduate school, I had an amazing professor named Katie Anderson. We did a course together and then we did a directed reading course together. And in the directed reading course, which is essentially where you work one-on-one -on -one with a professor, you get the same amount of credits as you would from a traditional course with other students in it but you're just essentially reading a list of books and then writing an essay. But she took things to the next level and I'm very grateful that she did because she required me to write a summary of each and everything that I read in that course. And I read a wide variety of books and articles and it didn't matter whether it was a full book or an article, she wanted a summary and a written one and it usually was 250 to 500 words and sometimes I would write a little bit more than that and basically, this helped me remember more from that class than many of my other classes where I didn't write any summaries at all. I just wrote an essay at the end. And this was a tremendous gift, and I took this as a habit that I continue to do. Now, a lot of people, they'll say, yes, Anthony, we've read your Magnetic Memory Method blog, and we can see you're writing about the books that you're reading all the time, but I don't have a blog to write. You don't need one. All you need, really, is an index card for each book that you read, and it might not even be 250 words that you squeeze on there, but what you're doing is you're essentially just helping your brain see the information that you remember in another form, and you're just processing it, percolating it through your brain in your own words. Now, you can take this to more advanced and strategic levels, and that's one thing that we talk about in my Read with Momentum program. So if you'd like to be in the next cohort, make sure you let me know. One of the easiest ways to do that is just go to magneticmerrymethod.com forward slash RWM for Read with Momentum. And we have such a blast in that program, and I hope we'll see you in one soon as we go deeper and deeper into how that you can extract information from books very, very quickly and then distribute that information throughout memory palace networks and get it into long-term memory very, very quickly. But at the end of the day, if you would just start writing summaries, summaries of videos, summaries of podcasts, you'll cause yourself to start to encode the information in different levels of your brain, which means you'll retain it much, much longer. <laughs> <laughs>